welcome students welcome back to expert tutorial so today we will discuss about a very important topic that is thermoelectricity and this topic is very important for west bengal polytechnic second semester examination so let's start so first of all what is thermoelectricity so this term thermoelectricity this implies direct conversion of heat into electricity so a device which converts heat into electricity is known as the thermocouple now what is thermocouple let's see this schematic diagram this is basically a thermocouple and as you can see it consists of two dissimilar metals that is joined together to form a thermocouple so there are two junctions as you can see this is hot junction and this is cold junction so there are three important thermoelectric phenomena and that we will study in this today's lecture so this is the formal definition of the thermocouple so just take a look into it so a couple of wires of dissimilar metals forming a loop and producing thermoelectricity is known as thermocouple so now coming to the important thermoelectric phenomena first of all seebeck effect so what is seebeck effect so thomas seebeck in 1821 invented this property of thermoelectric effect that is known as the seebeck effect so when the junction of a thermocouple are kept at different temperatures a current flows through the circuit so this effect is basically known as the seebeck effect so have a look into the picture so basically here you can see there are two wires one is made up with copper another is iron so this is basically a thermocouple and here there are two junctions one is hot junction and another one is cold junction so if this thermocouple that is the junction of this thermocouple are kept at different temperatures then a current flows from copper to iron across the hot junction and from iron to copper from the cold junction and you can see the deflection of the galvanometer this basically indicates that is there is a current inside the circuit so this is basically the seebeck effect and the current in the thermocouple is known as the thermoelectric current and the emf that developed is known as the thermo emf these definitions are very important for your upcoming semester examination and also uh, this seebeck effect it depends on the temperature difference in between the two junctions and on the nature of the metals so if we choose another two metal then the current will be different so now coming to the next topic that is thermoelectric equation so this thermoelectric equation is a basically equation of the thermo emf and this thermo emf e equals to alpha theta plus beta theta square so where alpha and beta are thermoelectric constants and theta is basically the temperature difference between the hot and the cold junction so take a look into the graph of the thermo emf and the temperature of the uh, hot junction so as you can see there are two imported terms that is neutral temperature and inversion temperature so what is this basically this neutral temperature theta n is nothing but at which this is basically the temperature at which the thermo emf is maximum so you can see here at this temperature thermo emf is maximum and what about this inversion temperature so inversion temperature is basically this theta i this theta i is the inversion temperature so at this point the thermo emf becomes zero and beyond this temperature the emf is inverted so have a look on the 
formal definition of neutral temperature so neutral temperature is the temperature of the hot junction of the thermocouple at which the thermo uh, electromotive force of the thermocouple becomes maximum and what about the inversion temperature basically inversion temperature of a thermocouple is the temperature of the hot junction with respect to the constant temperature of the cold junction at which the thermo emf becomes zero and beyond this temperature the emf is inverted so this topic is very important so please remember all the things i have discussed so now coming to the next topic that is thermoelectric power so the rate of change of thermo emf with temperature of the hot junction that is known as the thermoelectric power it is uh, known as p thermoelectric power equals to de d theta basically this is the rate of change of thermo emf here e is the emf and theta is the temperature so the rate of change of thermo emf temperature is the thermoelectric power so our next topic is peltier effect this topic uh, that is the peltier effect is basically the reverse of seebeck effect so when a electric current is passed across a junction between two materials then a temperature difference is created one junction becomes cooler and one junction becomes hotter so this effect is known as the peltier effect so basically this effect is just opposite to seebeck effect as you can see in the seebeck effect that is uh, previously discussed that in the seebeck effect uh, there is a temperature difference was created at the two junction and as a result a thermo emf was generated across the junctions but in case of peltier effect here you can see that we have generated we have uh, a, sorry an electric current is passed across the junction so that one junction becomes hot and another junction becomes cold so basically a temperature difference is created in between the two junctions so this is basically the peltier effect so now coming to the uh, difference between joule effect and peltier effect this question is very important for your upcoming semester examination so first of all we have to uh, discuss about what is the joule effect i think you all are aware of this joule effect so joule effect is uh, according to joule's law for a conductor of resistance of r the heat h produced due to the flow of current i for a certain interval of time t is given by h is proportional to i square the current flowing through the conductor when r and t remains constant is proportional to resistance when i and t is constant and proportional to time t when i and r is constant so if we combine these three we will get the equation h is proportional to i square r t so this is basically the joule's law or joule's effect so now coming to the difference between joule's effect and peltier effect so here it is so in case of joule effect heat is the only produced no heat is absorbed but in case of peltier effect heat production and absorption takes place simultaneously joule effect is irreversible that is we cannot uh, reverse the joule effect but the peltier effect can be reversed as you can see that the uh, seebeck effect basically is the reverse effect of peltier effect heat produced is directly proportional to the square of the current in case of joule effect that is as you can see here h is proportional to i square so heat produced is directly proportional to the square of the current in case of peltier effect heat evolved and absorbed is directly proportional to the current heating takes place throughout the whole circuit in case of joule effect and in case of peltier effect heating and cooling takes place only at the junction so in case of peltier effect heating and cooling takes place only at the junction but in case of joule effect the heating takes place through 
throughout the whole circuit. So, in case of Joule effect, heat produced depends on the resistance of the conductor, but in case of Peltier effect, it does not depend on the resistance. So, this is all from today's class. So, thank you everybody. Thanks for watching the video. I will be back very soon with another interesting topic which will be very effective for your upcoming semester examination. To keep updated, please like and subscribe the channel.